Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's talk more about Flipside Crypto. They're a community and data platform that pays you to answer questions about blockchain data. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can complete one of their bounties so that you can continue to learn and earn with Flipside Crypto. To find their bounty programs, you go to their website. At the top here, you see the bounty program when you click View All Active Bounties. It will then take you to a page where you can see bounties from different protocols and blockchains. For example, you can see that there are bounties from Terra, Uniswap, Polygon, Aave, etc. They also announced new bounties in their Discord channel, so you can definitely keep up by joining their Discord. When you sell for these bounties, you are using data from Flipside's data platform and you get paid out in the tokens for the project for which you are solving. So for example, if you solve a bounty from Terra, you'll get Luna tokens. If you solve a bounty from Aave, you get Aave tokens, etc. So when it comes to choosing a bounty, you have free reign to choose any bounty that you would like. So for example, you can go over to Polygon or Uniswap or Terra and have a look at their bounties and just think about what questions questions you would like to answer. If there is a particular bounty that asks a question that you find particularly interesting, then you should start there because you'll have the motivation to continue as well as you learn from completing it. For example, let's look at this bounty here for Galactic Punks on the Terra blockchain. And it's asking how many users join Terra just to get involved with Galactic Punks. I think this is interesting because it's essentially asking if people are coming to Terra just to participate in NFTs, we know that NFTs are definitely accelerating the onboarding of crypto curious and crypto newbies into Web3. So I think this would be a great bounty to solve. Let's look at the Polygon bounties. So all of them have the same format. When you click on the page, they give you a bunch of information about how to sign up. They also tell you about how they're paying out. So for example, they're saying for the Elite questions, you will receive 3,472 Matic if you come in first place, second place will win 694, and third place will win 347. With other bounties, they do have different breakdowns. So if it's an easy question, if it's... Um, medium question slash hard question and then they also have elite if you'd like to figure out which questions are available for solving in this section here where it says ready to start these are the ones that are active for this week in the section that says completed these are some of the past bounties that have already been completed here they have the submission date as to when you submit and you have to submit by a certain day and time is usually on a Wednesday. Let's look at one of the easy bounty questions that were completed in the past. For example, there's this one about Polygon fees. The question is asking, can you visualize the daily fees on Polygon since June 2021? Compare these to the daily fees on Ethereum over the same time period. Are they correlated? Do they diverge significantly at any points? Provide analysis as to why you think this may be. So I think I actually did this bounty in the past when I was exploring this platform. So let me see if I can find my dashboard. This is an example of a dashboard that I have completed in the past. So here I have a write-up explaining the dashboard, explaining what I found, and then I have some bar charts that show the Polygon fees since June first, well, yeah, June 1st, and also the same thing for Ethereum and then some other dashboards here. So we are going to try to recreate something like this. So first I will show you how to create the queries and then I'll also show you how to create the dashboard. Started, go to flipsidecrypto.com and click sign in. Create an account if you don't have one already. It will take you to their data platform called Velocity. So to create your first SQL query, you click new, new query, and here you have an option to query from various data sets such as Aave, Compound, Polygon, etc. If you would like to learn about these data sets, then you can click Flipside Docs and it will tell you more about the tables there. So for example, it has a description about the tables and what you can find in it. So this is really helpful when you're just starting. You might spend a bit of time trying to understand the table and the data and that is okay, that is expected. So for this query, we are solving a Polygon query. So if I can just find that. Yes. So we'd like to figure out what were the daily fees on Polygon since June 1st and compare that to Ethereum. So first let's find the daily fees on a Polygon. So click Polygon and I see that there are three tables. Most likely I can find that information and transactions. And I can already see there is a column called fee. So if I say select star from transactions 
and let's say where oh yeah let's just do limit 10 and see what that brings me meanwhile i'm gonna name this to polygon fees demo okay i need to specify the data set polygon.transactions Awesome. So now we can see the data that's in the table, which is super cool. So this can give you all the Polygon transaction data, everything that's happening on the blockchain. So here you see that there are the fees and we have the fees quoted in the native token, I reckon, as well as the fee in USD. So I think the fee in USD would be the good column to use because it would be easier to compare it across, across Polygon and Ethereum. So what I would like to do is to answer the question correctly. It wants to know, let's see. Where is it? Yeah, it wants to know the fees since June 1st. So we need to have some sort of criteria on the table. In SQL, when you're specifying criteria, you use the where clause. So I'll say where something. So I will use the block timestamp field. Now I need to specify where it's greater than June 1st, 2020. So if I check their documentation to see if I can specify it to date, this documentation is actually the documentation for Snowflake because the underlying database that they use is Snowflake. So you come here and you can see the various functions that you can use. So there's one called date trunk. So I think I'll be using that one. So I can truncate it into like a date. Okay, so I can get a date like this. So I can say where date underscore trunk block underscore timestamp. I believe here it has to be day. Let's see. Yes. So day is greater than or equal to 2021 Okay. Awesome. So hopefully now we're only getting transactions where it's greater than June 2021, June 1st. And now I would like to create an aggregate. So I'm going to say some fees underscore USD and I will name that as fees underscore USD. And then I'll also print the day as well. So I'll do day trunk again. Day block underscore timestamp and call that I'll say block D and then I'll run that query invalid identifier fees USD oh it's called fee my bad <laughs> the column is called fee and now you have to group by the block day. So you're doing an aggregation of the sum of the fees, but what are you what are you grouping it by? Like, should it be separated by the fee, by the time? And in this case, it's gonna be by the block day. Awesome, so we made it. So now I am seeing the fees grouped by the day. That's awesome. So, ooh, people making money. All right, so let's just say order by block day ascending you know so you can get this in order and just then click run now we have the fees ordered by the day so we have solved one part of this question before we move on i'm going to show you how we can add this to a dashboard right now so i can say a new chart and i can use the data that we just had so i can say for this column i'll say day for the y column i'd say fees and bada bing bada boom this is it right here and I'll say say visual and then I can add it to a dashboard so I say can say create new dashboard and I can call that polygon fees demo so I've created a new query and looking at the Ethereum data set, I see that the transaction stable exists as well. And there is a column called fees USD. So I simply copied the same query that I had for the Polygon query and I changed the data set from Polygon to Ethereum. And now I have the fees daily since June 1st. So I'll do the same thing where I create a dashboard, I create a chart, sorry, and I call it Ethereum fees x column i can say block day y column fees wonderful save visual all right awesome so i can also add this chart to the same dashboard i just created polygon fees demo brilliant so i just added the ethereum chart to the dashboard so now i can look at the dashboard and see what i have to say about it
And here I have the two dashboards. This is a polygon one. I forgot to put a title on it. And this is the Ethereum one. So I can add description and say um, these. Uh, here are the daily gas fees on polygon and, and Ethereum. Okay, so as I look at these two tables, I can see that there are differences in the activity. Like there is a similarity here and here where, you know, we do have more activities and we see some some activity dropping here when it comes to gas fees. I guess there is a similar thing on Ethereum as well. So what we would need to do is we would need to look at these two charts and see if there are any differences and why that might be. So if there is this like sudden drop right here or if there's a sudden spike anywhere, we need to investigate what happened on that day to figure out why there was a sudden spike. Because as you can see in general, the charts do have you know, somewhat of the same shape, but there would be particular points in time where they have a bigger difference. So that would be part of the something that you would do as a data analyst. You would try to understand the data and figure out why it looks the way it looks. So this is us creating a dashboard. Once you are done doing that, you can just say publish. It will then give you a URL and you can also see the dashboard in this lovely view and you can submit it. So if we go back to Flipside crypto. So essentially, they're like, hey, okay, so you compare it, give us any opinions you have, provide an analysis as to why you think there may be any differences, and then you submit it using a form. So I click this form, you give your email address, you say the title of the question, you put the link of the results, you see if anyone collaborated. You say your Discord handle, so mine is Crypto Classes. You can say your Twitter handle and all that good stuff. The most important part is this section here so that you can be paid if your bounty is accepted. So submit this form, make sure you submit by the right time. So here they tell you when you can submit and yeah, and that would be it. You just wait to get an email to see whether your submission was accepted and then you get paid. So this is how you solve bounties using Flipside Crypto's data platform, creating dashboard and providing data insights on blockchain data. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you'd like to see more comment like this, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.